Hi there, I'm Ben, uh, the main level designer for Rift Hunter, and uh, I'm going to just uh, show you through the game, basically. Uh, right, we start the mission with uh, Dave Hudson crashing out of the dropship, and uh, we're in a kind of a prehistoric jungle here, so uh, let's have a look around. Right, uh, we've still got the Unreal weapon dispensers, but they'll eventually be replaced. Here we have a, uh, a custom model, it's a custom weapon, it's a Sigsar uh, P226 with uh, a primary fire and a secondary fire that fires faster but does less damage. Right, um, here we see we have kind of a, a jungly environment that Dave Hudson, our main character, has to make his way through. Um, okay, so here we go. This is the main enemy of the game, the uh, Wolven. It's basically a, a wolf, that, a kind of wolf that's travelled back through time. You can read all the design documents and stuff to get an idea of what it's all about. I'm here to show you the level. Right, I've got a big gorge and uh, a rock bridge, and over here we've got to get deeper into the jungle. There's a radio over here. Some random uh, wolf kind of references and stuff which is really cool. Uh, lots and lots of um, nice rocky environment with lots of ferns. I'm just going to flick on god mode because we've got no form of uh, health pickup system yet and uh, I don't want to die beca <laughs> uh, because I won't be able to show you the level and how awful would that be? Right. The Wolven are pretty deadly at the moment, thanks to um, Ian Towers' custom kismet in which uh, he's created squads which uh, follow different waypoints and, uh, and basically look to kick your ass at every op opportunity, which is pretty cool to be honest. It looks like Spider-Man if you go in th into the kismet, uh, there's arrows joining everything to everything. It's awesome. Right. Here's the dropship that Dave came up, came on in. It's now crashed and is on fire. Uh, presumably no survivors. There is a waterfall there, and we have a, our second weapon in the game, the G36, with the primary fire, which is full auto, and a secondary fire, which is semi-auto, but doesn't work as well at the moment. Now we've got two options here. We can go for the uh, the long way round, or we can go straight through the cave. I'm going to opt for the long way round this time, but it's basically in a big figure of eight to make it seem like it's free roaming, but it's really not. It's a clever thing. <laughs> yeah, as we go deeper into the jungle, uh, we encounter more enemies, more squads. And as you can see, the G36 is very overpowered at the moment. Here we come to our third weapon in the game, the RPG-7. By the way, the uh, the Sig Sauer and the G36 were modelled and textured by Tom Laird uh, and rigged by myself. And uh, the RPG was uh, was modelled by Dimitri in our group. And uh, it looks pretty nice. I also rigged this one as well. It's pretty cool. I got the, um, the grenade on the end of the RPG to just to disappear when it's fired through the firing animation so it's not actually using a reload animation but it's kind of tricking the player into thinking that there is a reload 
but eventually we should have full reloads in this game when we continue it further. Also got a secondary fire which chucks out a kind of like a short range grenade. Kaboom! Right, we've got a choice here again. Uh, we can either continue down in this free roaming forest bit, or we can go across, cut across, and um, basically take a shortcut to the Wolven base. I'm going to go the long way around this time, again. Um, but yeah, if players choose to go down the uh, the river route, then they'll be met by um, by a, a few more opponents if they go that way because it's the shorter route. If they go around this way, they get fully time to um, to plan their attack on the uh, on the Wolven base. Right. Let's head on down here through the trees. All the trees are custom, by the way, all th and, uh, and the ferns. Um, using s well, the textures, co uh, stock speed trees t textures, the textures. Um, but the rest of it is pretty much custom mesh. The ferns are all custom. Everything on that is custom, which is really nice. It feels really good to to make this game and. Uh, and really get into the core of Unreal and make it not look like Unreal Tournament at 3 anymore. It's a really satisfying feeling. I've got a shock rifle and a link gun because I've we've set up the uh, the Wolven to use shock rifles and link guns. And flipping hell, they've got a long range. Alright. It's my nice second waterfall. Right, here's the Wolven base. Yeah, allow me to just commit mass murder and then I'll be with you. Swimming won't save you. <laughs> okay, right. I think I've killed every opponent on the level now. For now. So, uh, this is the Wolven base. Uh, the Paradox Machine, which allows this uh, kind of prehistoric paradox to be set in place. Um, if you didn't know before, we're reading the design documents and stuff. Uh, this is actually set in the middle of New York. So, uh, the Wolven have come here and they've really kind of messed things up with this paradox forcing a, the prehistoric jungle to appear in the final version of this level there will be dinosaurs and stuff which you have to kill and uh, and run away from as well as the wolven so it's going to be twice as deadly and we'll also have health pickups which would be good now this room is glitched at the moment but I shall show you it yeah, I shall show you it anyway um, because I think I can get out of it, get out of it. Right. The idea is the doors close and a load of guys spawn around you. But yeah, it doesn't quite work because <laughs> the kismet is a bit broken in Unreal. Um, but it will be fixed in the final version, of course, and it will be awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the Paradox Machine that's holding the, the whole Paradox in place. Uh, a lot of it's just Unreal Prefabs at the moment, but the uh, the middle bit here with the with the kind of console over here, that's uh, that's all custom modelled, and the, the top bit with the tubes coming out of it is also custom modelled. So yeah, this will be the end of the level. The, um, the player will have to face kind of like a, a boss here. Uh, in this area and hopefully it should be pretty epic to be honest um, so yeah that's that was the level um, hope you liked it um, I'm Ben stay cool have fun and play the game because we'll be including the install files so if you want to go play it yourself alright see ya